Hi friends, welcome to Dream PG YouTube channel. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do subscribe. Also make sure that you click the bell icon next to it so that you will receive notification whenever we upload our video. Calcium ions in skeletal muscles are maximally seen in Option A. Transverse tubules Option B. Longitudinal part Option C. Terminal cistern Option D. Sarcolemma Sarcomere is the functional unit of skeletal muscle. Cytoplasm of sarcomere is called a sarcoplasm. Inside the sarcoplasm we have the sarcotubular system which contains T-tubules and sarcoplasmic reticulum. This is the sarcolemma. This is the T-tubule. This is the sarcoplasmic reticulum. It's arranged in longitudinal fashion, hence it is called as L-tubules. The dilated end portion of the sarcoplasmic reticulum is called terminal cisterns. The calcium ions are present inside the sarcoplasmic reticulum, but the maximum concentration is seen in the terminal cisterns. The terminal cisterns on both sides and the T-tubules together forms a triad, and this terminal cistern is a storehouse of calcium. What is the advantage of these T-tubules? The electrical activity transferred by the sarcolemma can easily reach the inside of the muscle via this T-tubule. As a result of which, calcium ions are released from the terminal cistern. And this calcium ions binds with the troponin C, which makes conformational changes in troponin I and troponin T that finally leads to uncovering of active site present in the actin filament. Actin myosin crosslink takes place and the muscle contraction begins. The sarcotubular system is seen inside the sarcomere and the each T tubule is seen at the junction of A band and I band. So each sarcomere has two T tubules. Thank you very much guys. Now please tell me what will be the answer for this question. Yeah, that's right.